I'd like to start out tonight's show by congratulating all of the Raw superstars for their performances yesterday at the Royal Rumble. I think there's no doubt that Raw showed itself to be the superior brand. I'd like to especially single out Kane, our new Intercontinental Champion, and Batista, our new World Heavyweight Champion, for putting on two of the greatest matches in WWE history. That's right. And more importantly, we finally got Intercontinental and World Heavyweight Champions again. No thanks to Eric Bischoff. Unfortunately, there were some issues with the title matches. Here we go again. So I'm afraid I have no choice but to... No chance! Is that what you got? Up against a machine too strong. I will miss a happy to see Mr. McMahon in my life. You think Bischoff was about to vacate the titles again, JR? There's no doubt in my mind that's exactly what he was going to do. Eric, I think I speak for every superstar in the locker room and every WWE fan around the world when I say that I've had just about enough of you stripping titles from Raw superstars. And tonight, right here, right now, I want a damn explanation for your actions. If that's what you want, Vince, well, that's exactly what you're going to get. What the? That's the WWE Champion, John Bradshaw Lapey. What in God's name is he doing here? He's a SmackDown superstar. How do you even get into the arena? Well, Eric... It sounds like Vince wants to be let in on our little plan. I guess there's no harm in it since there's no way he's going to be able to stop us now. Plan? You see, Vince, me and Eric Bischoff have been working very closely together the last few months. In exchange for me providing the financial backing to create a new wrestling empire, Eric's been handicapping Raw by keeping its titles vacant. That means that when Eric and I go into business against you, you're not only going to have to overcome the fact that I am the most high-profile champion in the business today, you're also going to have to take on the man who nearly destroyed the WWE when he ran WCW. And we all know how that turned out. Mr. McMahon put WCW out of business. So Vince, this is your first, last, and only chance to get the hell out of our ring before I come down there and do something you'll regret. You think you can intimidate me, JBL? You think you frighten me? I'm Vincent Kennedy McMahon, damn it. I'm the chairman of the biggest sports entertainment empire in history. I didn't get to this point by being stupid or ignorant. You think you're the only one who can come up with a secret plan? I was hoping I wouldn't have to resort to this, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Oh my gosh! It can't be! Bishop's gonna get it now! Whoa! Whoa. Steve! Steve. Vince. Vince! Hold it! Hold it. Stop, Stop right, right there! there. Vince? Vince. Mr. Mr. McMahon? You know that when you hired me, I specifically had it written into my contract that no physical violence would be permitted against me, as long as I'm the general manager of Raw. If either one of you lays a finger on me, I'll sue you. I'll sue you for everything you've got. You know, Austin, I have to admit, he's got a good point. Let's not act rashly here. Let me see if I can find a way to solve this little misunderstanding. Eric Bischoff, you're fired! And now 
Now that Raw is without a general manager, Austin, I'd like to offer the job to you. I know we've never seen eye to eye, but Raw needs you, Steve. I hate to admit it, but I need you here to clean up this damn mess. You know, Vince, when you called me up and begged me to be the new general manager of Raw, that was about the happiest moment of my life. Until right about now. Seeing you in the middle of this ring, in your stupid little suit and tie, pleading with Stone Cold, Oh, please, Stone Cold, come to Raw and solve all my problems. Well, damn, if they don't make old Stone Cold feel real special. Look, I'm gonna let that go because I need a man like you to keep JBL out of Raw's affairs. Furthermore, I'm certain that at least one of the Raw superstar must be working with JBL from the inside. This mole needs to be found immediately. So what you're saying is, you're asking Stone Cold to find some damn traitor, open up a can of whoop-ass on a dumb son bitch, and maybe just raise some hell on the side. Well, wow, sounds like a job for Stone Cold Steve Austin. Tell you what, if you want to see Stone Cold as the new general manager, give me a hell yeah! All right. Vince, you got yourself a general manager. And my first order is... You can get the hell out of my ring. And that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold said so. If there's a mole on Raw, the Texas Rattlesnake will find you. And you can take that to the bank. This is gonna be a train wreck, JR. I just know it. All right. First order of business is to get to the bottom of this damn conspiracy. If there's one thing I know about JBL, besides the fact that he's a no-good yellow some bitch, is that he ain't gonna give up just because Bischoff got fired. Kane, Batista, you better watch yourselves. You heard how Bischoff was trying to get the titles off for all to handicap the show? That gold around your waist? Might as well be a target on your heads. I'm not worried about JBL or anybody else on SmackDown. I say bring them on if they think they've got what it takes. Yeah, anyone, SmackDown or Raw, thinks they're gonna take my title away from me. <laughs> I say, come try it. Now you listen to Stone Cold Steve Austin. As long as you're the Raw champions, if you're gonna take care of your titles and not go looking to mix it up with SmackDown. And that's all I got to say about that. As far as you go, you signed for a World Heavyweight title match against Batista at WrestleMania. If I was JBL, you'd be at the top of my list. And since I'm the new sheriff in town, I'm making you my deputy. Find out who else around here is working for SmackDown and open up a can of whoop ass Stone Cold style. Got it. Any suggestions on who to start with? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do have a suggestion. Remember how Chris Benoit jumped for SmackDown to come after Raw's World Heavyweight title? Seeing as how we're having a problem with SmackDown superstars trying to get rid of Raw titles, he seems like a suspect to me. I've made a submission-only match between you two tonight so you can keep an eye on him. Now go get ready. <laughs> 